welcome back. We are so happy to have with us our very first guest today, Mickey Ray from Mickey Ray's Barbecue. I was lucky enough to get to meet him over at Hump and Hannah's not too long ago and taste some of his delicious barbecue, and I invited him on the show. And it was all for the free food, and he brought me a whole bunch, too. So welcome on to the show, Mickey Ray. I'm so happy to have you. Thank you, Stevie. I am delighted to be here. I love your accent, I'll tell you what. Well, you know what? I love yours. Oh, you, my lack of? Some people say I actually have one. I don't know where it's from. Everybody out here has an accent. Well, they just to don't you, know it. Oh, they just don't have any idea. Like, everybody has a diagnosis. Right? Exactly. I don't know. So tell me all about Mickey Ray's. You got started here in the Treasure Valley about how long ago? We actually got started uh, in the restaurant business t uh, just about two years ago. Mm. But I've cooked barbecue for a long time. Uh, and it shows because it's delicious. It's been, I love your brisket. Well, thank you. We mm -hmm. try to do a good job with that brisket. I've worked hard so that I can beat the Texans at cooking it. Well, and you know, that's not a tough, I mean, that's not an easy job because brisket is hard to cook right, wouldn't you say? It's the worst piece of meat on a cow. <laughs> Not if you like to eat it. Well, if you know how to cook it, it's the best piece of meat. But that, if you, that's what if I would you have don't know say. how to cook, it's like eating a tennis shoe. That, how did you, were you in my kitchen when I made mine? Because it was not good. Uh, no, but I've eaten the dog enjoyed before. it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I didn't you so thought. Much. Uh, well, <laughs> hey, he that dog probably... lied to you. <laughs> he does often. So okay, so you've only been doing Mickey Ray's in Treasure Valley for two years. For two years. And you have two stores right now. We've got two stores getting ready to open up a third. I one. was gonna say, truth be told, I heard you have another one. Well, that's a vicious to... rumor going around that there is a little bit of substance to. Well, Steve. I've been spreading some pretty good rumors about you and I too for a while. <laughs> so but... sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate that. We look good together, you and I. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so you, that's pretty quick growing. I mean, that's that's very fast for two stores in two years, and now you've got another one. Tell me, how did that come about? Well, I've cooked for a long time. My mama is Greek, and obviously, uh, I'm from the South, where really? you know, food, fun, and fellowship are right. always at a premium. Right. And uh, there's nothing I like better than to be gathered up with people. And as you can tell, I've got an appetite. And, and uh, I love being able to just sit down and visit with people. So, uh, you know, that's kind of how it came about. I'm just doing what I like to do. Mm -hmm. And so because you, you know what, there's a lot of people who say that, that if you do what you love to do, you are going to, A, be very, very happy do it, and then you'll, you'll be very successful just because simply you're happy. And now look at you, you're opening your third store. Well, if you're willing to work hard, and, and you know, the secret to some of that too, Stevie, is I'm trying to take... Uh, complete advantage of the economy, uh -huh. uh, you know, this is the time for people to go into business if they can scrape up the capital. It's a sure. great, I've never seen a better time in my adult life uh, for people really? to go into business. That's, I, you know what, I'm glad that I had you on the show because I think that that's really encouraging, especially since Kevin and I are, you know, launching our magazine, you know, in a time when people are saying you can't do that, I say, yes, you can. And then for us to be doing this television show and, and exposing all the amazing stuff that's right here in the Treasure Valley, again, clearly, yes, you can. Here you we are. You can do anything you want to do as long as you want to do it. You know, Benjamin Franklin said one time that most people miss opportunity because it usually is dressed in overalls and looks like hard work. Really? Well, I wear overalls. Uh, you know and what? And I'm willing to work hard. Uh, uh, then you'll do just fine. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I know I've had your barbecue sauce. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I have been asking, a matter of fact, I asked the bartender over at Hump and Hannah's, what is your secret for a Bloody Mary? And he said, I'm never going to tell you that. So I'm going to ask you right here on live TV, what makes your barbecue sauce, A, so much different than everybody else, and what's in it so I can make it at home? Well, first off, if I told you what was in it, it'd take us a half hour for me to list everything. Now, you thought I was going to say if I told you what was in it, I'd have to kill you. I'd never think of killing a beautiful woman. But I do want you to understand that it's, uh, it is a complex recipe, and it takes a while. The biggest mistake that I see most people make cooking is they get in a hurry. Right. And you can't get in a hurry. Right. Well, you know, and they have all those cooking shows now that you can, I mean, literally you can make a dinner for 92 people in an hour. I don't think that's true at all. Well, I think they've got most of that ready. Right. And, uh, but the, the secret ingredient to everything we do is it's got a lot of love in it. Okay. And that whole bottle over there is full of nothing but love. This whole bottle Whoops. over here. And a hat. <laughs> and this trucker hat. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like that. Are, are full of love. Okay, so there's a whole but Okay, so if what is like the one ingredient that you would tell somebody you have to have it in your barbecue sauce or it's not barbecue sauce, what would that be? Uh, vinegar. Really? Vinegar just to make it like a little bit tart? Or? I like just a little bit of wine in there. Uh-huh. Wine, mm -hmm. that's a good word for that. I like that a whole bunch. And then, okay, so tell us then you've got, you're in Eagle already. We're, we've got a location in Eagle on Old State Street. Okay. We're over on the southeast side of Boise on Apple Street. Oh, that oh that's clear over there. It's way over okay. there. Okay, and then are you doing like one smack dab in the middle too? We're gonna or? do one right smack dab in the middle. We're okay. going uh, on Milwaukee where the old macaroni grill used to be. You're going to be right down the road so, from me. Wonderful. All I'll get this, to I'm, see you I'm a lot. Be expand, well, only if you're going to be there. Are you going to be there? You know what? I'll be all over. I'm kind of like you Santa are. Claus. I'm everywhere. <laughs> I love that. That's, I'm going to get me a helicopter. And I you know what I love when every time I've called down for you, they answer. how do they answer the phone? Well, it's a great day at Mickey Ray's. Come get you a little something, something. That's And I, I say, oh. The rumors are true that I've been spreading about Mickey Ray. Come get you a little something, something. Apparently, you're sharing with everyone. You know what? I'm uh, I'm in a lot of demand, Stevie. That's what I hear. <laughs> yeah. I've been writing it on bathroom walls because people are showing up over there as a result of me promoting you. So that's the reason why people tell me, "Well, I seen your name on the bathroom wall at Jack." In Sharpie. Yeah. Appreciate it's not it. coming off. You're welcome. That's how I roll. <laughs> And so, okay, so tell everybody you, again, you they can come and find you on State Street in Eagle and yes. then over on Apple Street. And then, the, and when does the new one open? You know, best case scenario, I hope, Stevie, October 1. Uh, worst case scenario, October 15. We've got, you know, we're, we're working hard to get that done. Now, are you all by yourself in this, Mickey Ray, or is yes. it? Yes. All by yourself? Yes. One man show? With everybody well, else supporting you? Well, we've got a lot of employees. I'm well, of not course. a one man show, but. Uh, but well, I'm you're the one owner. man to me right here on the show. Uh, I understand. <laughs> and I tell you what, we really appreciate more than anything in the world having Mickey Ray on, the sh on our television show. We get to enjoy it later off in the green room. You'll have to go in and find it for yourself. We appreciate having him on the show. Thank you very much, Mickey Ray, for coming on the Thank show. Thank you we so really much. Y'all come on it. out and get you a little something, something. We're going to indeed. Thank you. You're welcome.